morning, everyone, and welcome to Good Shepherd Episcopal Church and our Sunday morning devotion. My name is Moki Hino, and today I am joined once again by our responder, the Senior Warden Emeritus K. Peter Lee. Our reader this morning is Dr. Charles Hill. Uh, please remember that we do have Wednesday a Bible study at 4 p.m. in St. Matthew's Conference Room. And because this uh, coming week, Dixie and I will be in New York, it will be followed by some form of evening prayer. Uh, so anyway, please come and join the group and study the Word and worship God. And now let's take a moment uh, to gather ourselves. We begin with our gathering prayer. Please join us. Creator, we, we give, give you thanks for all you are and all you bring to us for our visit within your creation. In Jesus, you place the gospel in the center of this sacred circle through which all of creation is related. You, allow, you show us the way to live a generous and compassionate life. Give us your strength to live together with respect and commitment as we grow in your spirit for you are God, now and forever. Amen. And now our gathering psalm of praise. Open my lips, O Lord. And my mouth shall proclaim your praise. Create in me a clean heart, O God. And renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from your presence. And take not your Holy Spirit from me. Give me the joy of your saving help again. And sustain me with your bountiful spirit. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. reading from Matthew. Jesus puts before the crowd another parable. The kingdom of heaven may be compared to someone who sowed good seed in his field. But while everybody was asleep, an enemy came and sowed weeds among the wheat, and then went away. So when the plants came up and bore grain, then the weeds appeared as well. And the slaves of the householder came and said to him, Master, did you not sow good seed in your field? Where then did these weeds come from? He answered, 
An enemy has done this. The slave said to him, Then do you want us to go and gather them? But he replied, No. When gathering the weeds, you would uproot the wheat along with them. Let both of them grow together until the harvest. And at harvest time, I will tell the reapers, Collect the weeds first and bind them in bundles to be burned. But gather the wheat into my barn. Then he left the crowds and left the crowds and went into the house. And his disciples approached him, saying, Explain to us the parable of the weeds of the field. He answered, The one who sows the good seed is the son of man. The field is the world, and the good seed are the children of the kingdom. The weeds are the children of the evil one, and the enemy who sowed them is the devil. The harvest is the end of the age, and the reapers are angels. Just as the weeds are collected and burned up with fire, so will it be at the end of the age. The Son of Man will send his angels, and they will collect out his kingdom all causes of sin and all evildoers, and they will throw them into the furnace of fire, where they will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Then the righteous will shine like the sun in the kingdom of their Father. Let anyone with ears listen. This Thus ends the reading. You know, I don't often understand the ways of the world, uh, the ways of nature, um, the way of the kingdom, and what the cosmos is all about. How can I? I am but a mere mortal and a human being. Uh, one, one human being on one planet and one solar system and one galaxy and one universe. Uh, as Neil deGrasse Tyson says, uh, the universe is not under any obligation to explain itself to me, Mokihino. Uh, and so that puts things in perspective. Uh, things are the way they are and sometimes we don't understand them. Like, why can't we live in a utopia now uh, that Jesus has come and resurrected from the tomb? Uh, we, we don't know why and things are not meant to happen on our timetable but more on the timetable of God. And so, uh, why, why do we have to coexist uh, with darkness? Um, I don't really know, uh, but I do know that that's the way it is, and Jesus is clearly saying that's the way it is. You have to let all the things come to fruition before uh, you can take the weeds out. Um, and when that is going to be, and uh, whose decision that is, is not Mokihinos, who uh, wants it to be now. Uh, Things have to progress the, th the way that things are going to progress. And you know, uh, when, when the seeds uh, sprout up, we might not be able to tell the difference. And so we don't want to go uh, pulling up something that is not meant to be pulled up. And so we take the risk of leaving everything there and uh, waiting for the right time. Ah, oh, that's such a hard pill to swallow, isn't it? Um, you know, I want a world um, where there's no poverty. I want a world where there's no gun violence. I want a world where there is no war in Ukraine. Uh, I want a world where there's no homelessness. Uh, I want a world where everybody gets educated. I want a world where everyone has free access to water. I want a world where uh, people are not subjugated to the powers. I want a world where people are not the victims of greed. Uh, I want a world where people are not the victims of fear, but that's not the world we live in. Uh, and we are called to coexist and intermingle with all of that, like Jesus said. It's not time to pull out the weeds yet. Uh, and I want to do everything I can to make sure that, number one, I don't turn into a weed. And uh, number two, um, I think the contrast helps me to see what is good and what is not so good. And uh, so I'm, I'm grateful for the parable and frankly I'm grateful for the way the world is because in the midst of 
all the strife and complications and uh, not so goodness and darkness, uh, we're still able to live in a world where from time to time we can experience love, joy, and peace. And when that all comes to fruition, boy, how much more are we all going to appreciate it? In the meantime, uh, we stay in the field with the weeds and hope that we are not a weed and that if we are a weed, through the sacraments and through the prayers and through the grace of God, uh, we will turn into uh, something better and something more pleasing in the eyes of God. Um, so there we go. Uh, there's the parable. There's the gospel. Uh, there's uh, how I feel about it. Uh, what does it mean to you? Um, what are the weeds in your life and how have you been able to navigate them with a yoke that is easy and a burden that is light as Jesus said last week. Uh, time will tell as your stories evolve and uh, I hope that your story and my story will be all blended into one story and that when the time comes we can offer it all up to God as simple truth. And now please say the Apostles' Creed with Peter and me. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. And now I invite your prayers for the Universal Church, its members, and its mission. I invite your prayers for the nation and all in authority. I invite your prayers for the welfare of the world. I invite your prayers for the concerns of the local community. I invite your prayers for those who suffer and those in any trouble. I invite your prayers for the departed. And now I invite us all to sum up our prayers to God by saying the words our Lord and Savior taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen.
Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. 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 Thanks be to God.